Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy O'Berry Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Oh, girl. I'm here in the middle of like a freaking hurricane. Oh, it's not actually a hurricane, but it's like a storm in the middle of the Caribbean. And I'm just like, you know, like waiting for, I don't know, something to happen. So I was like, let's just do some videos. Let's just spill some tea, give you what you like, what you guys like and what you guys want, right? And I have this piece of tea, which is very uh, tasty. It's coming from, I want to say the Real Housewife of Beret Hills because it's related to Beret Hills. But now it's like at the new generation of these girls, you know, like defending their moms because Kyle Richards' daughter, Farah, which is starring on her own show, Buying Beret Hills, is coming forward defending Kyle Richards and talking about Paris Hilton, her cousin, defending Kathy Hilton and how this is involving the whole family dynamics and, um, I mean, what what is she thinking about that? And we definitely, definitely need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this oh, mess. Hey, yo, me. No. My friend, my dog, and my sister. I am so glad. Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video. And we are talking about the beautiful people of Rose Forever. As you can see, they work with this beautiful flower arrangement. They do a special treatment on the roses, so they will literally stay the same for over a year. With Thanksgiving's coming and the holidays, this is the perfect gift that you can give to someone you love. They have all kind of colors, all kind of sizes, different boxes, everything that you can imagine. So whatever you want to say these holidays, do it with roses. If you want to get your flower arrangement, make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. They ship everywhere, so make sure to buy your roses right now with Rose Forever. Welcome back everyone and like I was telling you guys before we are talking about this new generation now we saw that while the real housewife of Beverly Hills was on the air Paris Hilton was very quick into uh, defending her mom Kathy you know she few times you know like a bunch of like shady shady comments uh, about her aunt Carl Richards, you know, Paris was, I mean, Paris wanted the world to know that she didn't agree, that she thought that Kyle was being a mean girl, that she was not being a good sister, that she was like hurting the family, that she was doing all of these very shady things. And Paris Hilton like did it like over and over and over on several tweets, on Instagram, like on different places like she was very like you are not gonna be messing with my mom you know and i didn't understand either because kyle she says that she loved her uh her uh niece that she loved paris hilton that she loved nikki hilton like all of that um but she will go on and give the green light to lisa rena and erica jane to basically destroy their mom so how is that even making sense? Now, of course, we have Farah, complicated last name, Alt Jufri, Alt Jufri. Can you just be like Richards? Can you just be like Farah Richards? Although she just married or she's about to get married. So I don't know. 
or, or maybe that's the first that's last name yeah now 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 i get it anyways Farah is speaking speaking on this speaking of paris liking all of these mean tweet so let me read you this and then we're gonna discuss it says Farah al Jufri is speaking out about her mom, Carl Richards, ongoing feud with her sister, Kathy Hilton, and how it impacts her relationship with her cousin, Paris Hilton. Months after Paris inserted herself into the drama of The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills by liking a series of mean tweets about Kyle. The Vineberry Hills realtor is sharing her reaction to the post while admitting that both she and Paris are very defensive of their moms. We don't talk about it. No, it's too painful, Farah said uh, of Paris. Liked post on November 16 because she was on the hashtag no filter podcast with our friend Zach Peters. Um, we're both very defensive of our moms and, but we are also extremely, extremely close. If we let that interrupt our dynamic, it will be just too painful, really, and too hard to untangle. So we let our moms do their thing and we just shut it out. Although Fora, who Kyle's share with ex-husband, Gudaish al Jufri. Oh, that's the last name, yeah. Said that Kyle and Kathy drama on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is really hard to deal with. She's hopeful for a future reconciliation between them, saying she wants everything to be okay. In the, mo in the meantime, Farah is doing her best to avoid speaking publicly about the matter. You just did it, girl. Before, I will just be like, Mom, who cares what anyone says? Like, whatever. This last season of her show, I was very worked up. I wanted to respond to every person and just be like, you don't know everything. Like, you just don't know. And it does bother me that she gave so much for all those years and was so loved and beloved, but people... This, audi this audience is so fickle. Girl, I'm going to tell you something before I continue reading that. It's because we do not believe on blind loyalty, okay? You cannot be blindly loyal to someone and be like, oh, she was great 10 years ago, so we should be just like, you know, uh, being on her side forever and ever. We saw, especially... and. I feel that you as a family member should be really paying attention to this because we saw on this last season a side of Kyle that we have never seen before, you know. After everything that happened with Lisa Vanderpump, we knew that Kyle Richards was being manipulated by Lisa Rena, And we tried to run with that. But then Kyle literally became part of the Mean Girls. She was there and she has been changing for the past two years and not for the best. And this season, we saw something different on Kyle. I'm telling you, I have always said on every single video, I have a love-hate relationship with Kyle because I, I like her. You know, I she make me laugh. I love her relationship with her kids. I can tell you that she's an amazing mom, you know. But the things that she did this season to her own sister makes you wonder and makes you question everything. So no, she doesn't get blind loyalty. None of them really get blind loyalty. I mean, if you are a fan of Housewife, you know that you can love someone for many, many seasons and then just turn on them because they show the real colors and who they are. It's very easy to manipulate audience, uh, audiences, you know, on, on reality TV, but at some point, the truth will always come to the light and we will always see who these people really are. Okay, let's move on. It says, according to Fora, she believes the fans should have more loyalty to her mom. Literally what we were saying. 
they want to see what they want to see if they like certain people they can do wrong if they turn on you then there's nothing you can do right and that's and that part is like where's the loyalty she wonder but despite the intense family drama that played out on this season farah and said kyle and kathy's tensions had no influence on her decision to film buying Barry hills with her own sister alexia omansky they have their own you know issues and things they have been dealing with for years she explained my sister and i we don't have those issues but also we're a lot younger so there's a lot less you know time that we could have and also our age gaps so luckily we don't have those kind of things to deal with hopefully we will never will yeah i'm look i'm gonna tell you i really hope the same because there is nothing worse that you know get into like this petty like drama with your own family members and i hope that you don't follow the same steps as your mom because um yeah you know I know families can be complicated and I know that we don't know everything that has been going on between Kyle and Kathy. But Kyle paint Kathy to be these monsters for year, years. For years and years, she painted Kathy like this horrible person. And Kathy came here, this is her second year, and she became a fan favorite for a reason. And it's not because people want to hate on Kyle. It's because Kyle show the world who she really is and the truth, you know, or part of the truth. And people are picking on that. And I'm telling you, audiences, viewers got way more smarter, especially after um, COVID and quarantine and all of that. We kind of like open our eyes and woke up to who like, who these people really are and now we are just not convinced just because you're a nice one episode kyle needs to work way harder if she wants to get the fans back on her side that's the only thing that i can say so anyways uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel pray that this freaking hurricane is over so i can like go to the beach or do something and i'll see you around see ya bye